Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. <laughs> We're starting off with uh, Claire's campaign, and we're just going to play on standard. Uh, I saw people playing this all day, but I did not watch. I think I watched Where's Barry for like 10 minutes or, yeah, 15 minutes. I clipped on to his video to see where he was, and he was fighting um, the Birkin boss. And since I already saw that, you know, before, I watched him for like 10 minutes on my break. But that's the, all I've seen of this. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome. To spitting venom, we are here with Res Evil 2, our first playthrough. And uh, that's awesome. That's a trucker. Look at the earring he's got. And if anyone's here, let me know how the audio sounds. He's crazy. Why'd he bite me? Just getting good. I always wondered, like, you know, because this spread pretty fast. I always wondered, like, I maybe I'll explain it a little in the game of, like, were people caught off guard, and how did word not spread to outsiders that they need to. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! I mean, I kind of felt like that was coming, but it still was. That was good. The hair flopping off. Oh, that was. That looked good, man. Jesus! Of course, this guy thinks he just killed a random person. Which he could have. Don't text and drive or eat burgers and drive, kids. I I eat and drive all the time, though. It's a shame. Should take my own advice. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Holy crap! Yeah, these zombies are tough in this one. <laughs> wow, I'm digging the intro so far. This is really awesome. Who's she talking to? Look at those gas prices. She who's she talking to? Her mom and dad? Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Hmm. I don't know, would you? I guess it's a horror movie, so you're going to have to investigate it, but. Okay. Ms. Oil? Yeah, those gas prices are awesome. I remember when gas cost that amount. Uh, I had a Jeep Wrangler, and I put like a dollar and four cents in my Jeep per gallon. Dingo Red Cigarettes! Uh, what's this? Cordy's Painting Company celebrating 100 years of service, and look at that. Home of Umbrella. Uh, I'll be going over that more and more in my history of Resident Evil videos. We put the second one up today, and you'll see a third one probably go up tomorrow. Um, but, uh, you'll see, like, Umbrella, this pretty much was their town. Uh, they owned a lot of it, and had a lot of influence here. From, like, the building the zoo, rebuilding the zoo to like, uh, you know, getting certain people elected. I mean, uh, yeah, they had, a, they had their hands in, in creating this city big time. Oswell E. Spencer had his hand, his slimy old hands and everything here. Anybody here? Oh man, the lighting effects Hello? are great. Great. I hear like two different sounds. It's like someone breathing back here and then there's someone struggling in the... Are 
Are you okay? Holy shit. Wait here. We'll check it out. Oh, that's why. Let's uh Can we grab a bag of chips? I want some funion, Joe. Okay, so we can't go. I was like going to say the game's got to be a little bit more linear than that. They can't give us multiple paths right now to take. So yeah, it looks like we're we were meant to come this way. Dude. Dude. Whoa! Yo, dude. If that's you getting it. Ugh. Don't come any closer. Whoa, come on, dude. Draw fire. Oh, I have a gun. Sorry, I didn't know I had a gun. What the hell is up with you? I probably would have done a little bit better with those first two shots if I realized um, I had a gun <laughs> it was like draw on fire I'm like draw on fire what are you talking about but I forgot Claire is armed she uh, she has a brother in the stars so of course she's gonna be armed up dang can I is there anything to grab or ah the key jeez Hey, hey, Gamer Squad, what is up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the nightmare. If, if the, oh my god, yeah, he's still up. Let's try the leg. Let's get out of here. Only got two bullets left. Um, what's the old catchphrase from this game? If the suspense doesn't kill you, something else will. I always love that. Or was that Silent Hill? What the hell? Oh, that's right. We gotta go. <laughs> oh, crap. I screwed that up. Ooh. Oh! Okay. He almost got me. Did you get the Deluxe or Standard? I got the Deluxe Edition, my friend. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Dang. Does he have bullets? Tell me he has bullets. Because I'm out. I'm out, yo. Whoa! Oh, this... Whoa! Don't shoot! Get down! Dang! Nice. Nice callback. I am glad they left that interaction in there. Even though it's happening at a different place. I think it was in a restaurant before. Um, did you play this yet, Gamer Squad? Have you been playing this today? Whoa. Hey, dude, my gun ain't even loaded. So, I, I don't know if any of you guys watch Red Letter Media, but that zombie with the flannel sweater and the bald head, he kind of looks like Jack. I was wondering if somebody who made this game was like a, a Red Letter Media fan and put Jack in the game. That would have been awesome. That'd be awesome. He looks like Jack. He might not be, but he reminds me of Jack. You're still playing it? All right, nice, dude. Nice. Are you playing Leon or Claire? Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing huh. we found each other. You're playing as Leon? Nice. We are going to be playing through Claire tonight. Um, oh. Whoa, this is part of the intro? This was in one of the trailers that shot there. That's cool. Capcom Presents. 
All right, nice work, gentlemen, so far in the directing of this. Nice. All these talented people that worked on this game. Well, that's a creepy cool shot. Ooh. Ooh, man. Got goosebumps, man. Um, so when, I mean, I don't know how long we'll play tonight. I'm, I'm hoping to beat it if I can. So we'll play all the way till the morning if it takes that long. Um, and I don't know what the average playthrough is of people on their first time through. I'm thinking maybe 10 hours. Uh, but if we can play it in that amount of time or less, that'd be great. I'll take a nap and then we'll wake up later and play Leon. Um, I'm going to edit a video first, eat some lunch, and then we'll come on tomorrow and play Leon. funny that all the cars are lined up on the sides like that typically you wouldn't have that in like a a mass panic cars would just be piled in the road yeah but what if we're the only ones what if there's no survivors no, there's survivors it's a big city there has to be Oh, God. You sure you want to get out of the car? More like running. Yeah, good call. Whoa. Dang. Leon, you gotta back up. Whoa. Oh, man, it's the guy that got bit. He's trying to stay alive, man. Wow. Go, oh, no way. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, man. Wow. Dang. Dang. Jeez. What was... Oh! God! What a way to start your day. Was Leon in that cop car? Doesn't look like it. I mean, obviously he's not, but I just... Yep. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I don't know why she pulled her gun out. I don't think I have any bullets. Yeah, zero bullets. Whoa, what the heck was that? bullets in here? Maybe this way? It's like the end of the world. It's like the end of the world. Straight up is the end of the world. This is awesome. We're running through Raccoon City. Whoa, dang. Wow, we got lucky. There's a van. Any bullets in it? Got inventory? Anything? Letter from best friend. Dear Claire, first of all, thanks for the letter. Now if you'll let me get this one thing off my chest. Can't believe you're really going to do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself just to see your brother. What the hell, girl? I know Chris means a lot to you, and yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all, but you're nuts. 
You know how many perverts and assholes are out there just waiting for a hot young college student to come along and take advantage of? It's not safe to travel alone. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine, I get it. Just promise you'll call when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your bestest bestie friend hanging, okay? Love ya. P.S. Your brother may be the Chris Redfield, and he may have taught you how to fight and use a gun like a banshee, but that doesn't make you invincible, so don't get cocky out there. Hey, thanks, exposition letter. <laughs> so you get it now? She's awesome. That's why she can do all these awesome things already. All right. Oh, the bus. Oh, dude, there's zombies crawling out of it. Please tell me there's, like, some bullets over here. Oh, crap. I'm just, like, running right into all these zombies. Lock it up, lock it up. Thank goodness that was unlocked. Any reason why? Maybe because Jill got out of there in a hurry. RE3 connection. So this is something I forgot to mention in the demo when I did my commentary, is uh, these bodies. Uh, these these bodies that apparently could not be saved. Um, so I was like, well, wouldn't they pile dead bodies up in the, the living room? Or the, the, the main hall? And I'm like, no, why would they do that? They put them out here. So yeah, there's some body action for you. And now, boom, the demo. Hmm. Anybody here? Sweet. I don't suppose we need that stupid key anymore, do we? Straight up, we're saving, man. I ain't too proud. All right. Um, deluxe weapons added. What? Oh, we're not going to use those. Uh, not in this playthrough, anyway. Um, we'll put everything in there for now. Ah, oh, man, hearing that music again, though? That's what's up. Any bullets over here? Some blood on the ground. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. All right, we know what we got to do. Let's stop messing around. It's weird that he... That's the other re thing I hope they kind of explain in this game, maybe a little bit. Um, They're inside too. Is uh, why Chris didn't just, you know, call and leave a message for her somewhere, you know, back at her school or something, of like that he wasn't in town. Like, hey, I'm not here, don't come here. Um... I'm kind of curious about the necklace, too. It looks like a... I mean, obviously, it's a feather of something, like a bird or an eagle, but they kind of did this thing in the, the George Romero... Um, the George Romero Resident Evil movie where Chris was like a falconer. He, like, you know, could talk to... Or, I mean, not talk to falcons, but he, like, you know, was, like, kind of embraced, like, a, a small percentage of Native American in him and lived on in the Arclay Mountains and, like, you know summoned falcons and, and fed falcons um so i'm, I'm curious i'm kind of curious what their background is a little bit all right Oop. maybe lock from the other side so a lot of the stuff like the background stuff has been reused from like from like Res Evil 7, like they're like, oh, we need like this kind of plant or something, not those plants, but it's like we need something to fill space. So they reused a lot of the same models for things, but, Focus, um, Focus. you know, that's fine. It works. Right, let's go in here because we won't be able to do it on the way back. Uh, well, we, we might later, but I think this place is going to fill up with zombies soon, so. 
And since I only have six bullets, what are these? Big League Chews? Oh, spaghetti. A oh, box of spaghetti. This place got beat the F up. Sweet. Oh, bullets, what? Hey, thanks, dead person. That'll probably get up in a little bit. Thank you all for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, Gamer Squad and our two lurkers. Um, obviously, you're not obligated to chat at all, but if you feel like it, feel free to say hey. Um, it'll definitely help keep me up. <laughs> Unless you're all going to bed right now, that's fine too. Um, looks like we got a prankster. This is why I put that that health spray back earlier in the main chest out in the front because I knew we were going to get that one. Okay. Oh, oh my god. I... Open up! Hurry! Huh? Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'm here! Open we got you, dude. I really love this game, Gamer Squad said. That's great, man. So how how many hours have you put into it, Gamer Squad? Elliot, I'm sorry. It does not end well for you. Wow. Tell Marvin. So far, two hours in, huh? Okay. So are you taking a break, or are you playing it right now? Because if you're playing it, I'm, I'm hopefully I'm not bothering you. All right. Way out. Goddess statue. So these are the three things. Um, cool. I think it's... Is it the lion? I think it's the lion statue in the, the main hall. Okay, we'll figure it out. So I saw something pretty cool somebody did with this. Watch this. All right, let's get over here. You can see the zombie outside the window over there. So then he'll trip over this and you can run past him. Yeah, we're gonna just keep moving. there and the wood I always get turned around right there and I do not know why sweet you're still playing it okay cool awesome <laughs> well thanks for multitasking and hanging out with me I hope you're enjoying Leon's campaign. I'm sure it's the same, because I think we're playing Scenario A, so I'm sure it's the same. See, that's the Jack zombie, I think. It looks like Red Letter Media Jack. Yeah, I like the dialogue's a little different. Like when Leon's here, he's like, oh, there was another officer and I tried to save him, but, you know. And Claire's kind of like, so you know. Knows what caused this? Yeah, like, yeah, I can kick butt, dude. <laughs> There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, it's on me. 
Hey, keep that on. Just in case. Hmm. Not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Like weeks ago. Vacation? Weeks? That's that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out with this um, secret passage. I think the vacation thing was a cover because they were trying to expose Umbrella and they were getting shut down and like Chief Irons was like getting rid of evidence or something. For uh, so to make it look like they, you know, didn't have anything. Listen, Claire. So I think Chris like went on sabbatical, like he took a paid vacation um, to go investigate Europe, uh, the Umbrella Labs in Europe. Need this. Yeah, it's the same, same, yeah, same A scenario. I gotta say, I've, I haven't seen any of this dialogue. It's, it's great. Take them out if you can. I like that they play these scenes a little different than the Leon and Claire. Like the tensions shifted in different areas and. Yeah. Yeah, nice. What up? So on here, some of these names are um, developers. And loving memory of those who served with the valor of lions, the nobility of unicorns, and who's and the whose ultimate sacrifice is pure as the maiden of old. Yep. Some devs on there. I think we can go upstairs and solve this one now. There should be some bullets. No, was that only the demo? Probably only the demo. Why would they waste their time boarding that window up? Maybe from liquors? Alright, so this one had like a lion head that boom I knew it was one of them my memory ain't so good y'all notice y'all notice all right let's put this in nice Oh. All right, all right. Are you a giant herb? Can I grab you now? Nope. Let's go put away, um... Oh, not that. Store that. I like that. Inventory is kind of a little bit like the Resident Evil 7 inventory, so similar buttons, which is nice. So the next statue's up there we gotta solve. But we're doing pretty good on bullets right now. Uh, herb. And there's the We Do It guys. Are down here. So there's a We Do It. And then in there is Leon's office, which we're gonna get to here eventually. Look at all those claw marks, what? Man. This guy spent a lot of time shoving furniture in down hallways. They mentioned that they're like traveling down the, a river heading east. There are three rivers in Raccoon City. I, th I think the Ames River is one of them. I think that's the one that goes east to west. Um, so that, I guess, makes sense trajectory-wise. I think that was mentioned in Outbreak 1 or 2. Oof. So this guy, he doesn't fall unless you bump into him. So I'm going to try to walk around him. We have another... I like that they put this, the... 
um, symbols on the door. Look at those claw marks, dude. What up? So I'm, per I'm like divided. I kind of want to board that window up because I'm pretty sure something will come through there later. You have to choose like um, what you board up. So we'll use this so she doesn't bust through. So we can have more time to explore. Because this room, in the, when I played the one-shot demo, I didn't get a lot of time to explore. Oh, what? The weapons key is in here. What? Dirty, dirty demo. Oh, man. I was thinking we were going to get the, the weapons card key there. All right. I see, I see how you want to play a game. So this we've read in the demo. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. September 26, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. Few survivors, survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. Wow, so a couple people apparently got out. Um, Twelve people died, and there was only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. Dang, David Ford. I always liked those journals in the first Resident Evil 2 because they really painted a very bleak picture of the state of things. What's this? Hey, first floor map. I think I missed this in the demo. So there's the records room. Sweet, sweet. Okay. No uh, weapons key. And now we're actually doing fine on bullets. Let's get this knife out of here. What up, Gub Rage? What's up, Unic Technic? How's it going, dude? You are the best, man. How's it going? How you been? Um, all right. Locked. like dead space you gotta like dismantle the zombies look at all the slash marks I, I think I just put those on the ground let's just do what the demo did see if that helps anything all right bullets in the film I think that's all we can get 102 we can't we don't have the two. Oh, there's another knife been good just got done playing a little bit of this myself nice how far in did you get like uh, how many hours worth and are you playing Leon or Claire um, seen a couple Leon's playing today I think where's Barry played Claire though um, but I think he's doing it for the reason that he likes in the original Resident Evil 2 he likes Leon's B campaign more than Claire's B campaign. I'm kind of the inverse of that. I kind of liked Leon's A and Claire's B, but um, I didn't really realize there was going to be A and B scenarios in this because I thought, like they said, there wasn't going to be. Um, so I haven't been keep. Even though I watch Where's Barry's channel, sometimes I um, it's a lot of times just I keep it on the background while I'm editing or writing. So I um I wasn't up to date on it um, on that info. So. Dude, this knife, I heard the knives break, so I don't know what's taking mine so long to break. Use of gunpowder, sweet. 
Here's the JoJo locker. Uh, that's like a reference. There was a JoJo locker in this room in the first game, uh, too. And that's a nod to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I think. Uh, there's Neil Carlson. Um, this is Elliot Edwards. This is them. Um, there's See that L there, that second L? It belongs up there, because in the original Resident Evil 2, in one of the versions of it, they misspelled welcome with two L's. So it said welcome with two L's, so you can see there's a spot missing, and there's the second L there. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome they did that. So this is Rookie's first assignment. Leon, Kenny, this was not in the demo. We're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. Uh, the initials of our first names, blah, blah, blah. Lieutenant Brano. Scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, Rookie. Not too far, two hours in. Oh, man, that's what a gamer squad is about two and a half hours in now on Leon's as well. So that's pretty awesome. So there's... Is it Ned? Okay. So the initials were like... Uh, this is David. This is Elliot. And this is... Uh, Neil. So on this side, we actually have a, a, a Resident Evil alum from Outbreak 2... Um, where is her, her nameplate's right here, I think, or that's George, but, uh, where's hers, it's Rita, there you go, Rita Phillips, and Marvin, so M-R-G, or G-R-M, maybe, M-R-G. Um, but Rita is a character from from Outbreak Volume 2. Whoa, what's this? Speed Loader. Okie dokie. Oh, that's interesting. I hope Outbreak Remaster comes out. Oh, re yeah, Remaster of Outbreak? That'd be kind of cool. That game was ahead of its time. Um, it was, you know, it, was an on it being an online game and stuff. Um... I, th I think it would definitely work better now. Oh, my aim. My aim is unbelievable. legs. There we go. I ain't no stranger to dismemberment, man. I love the Dead Space series. Surprise this knife is still holding in there. Um, I wonder if this is the same as the the game. I mean the demo. Nope, you gotta actually I'm not supposed to do that. Nine. Fifteen. Hey! Same. Hey, thanks, where's Barry? <laughs> Hip pouch. That gets you two extra inventory spots. All right. Sweet. So I think we got everything in here. I hope, anyway. Nothing over here. I like to check everything. All right, here we go. First things first, let's deal with that guy. Boom. Okay, we're doing pretty good on the window boarding. Additional herb benefits. Cool. Gunpowder. I'm going to just... I think because the gunpowder, you can mix it with like different types of gunpowder. So, um... I think I'm going to put them in my inventory chest for now. Boom. Red 
red and green herb. Thank you very much. So in here there's like a picture of a woman's face and then over here there's like a stars members um, face too, or a stars member like a team shot of the whole team. And then here's our first puzzle. Or not our first, but kind of. Our clue. I'm so used to the classic Resident Evil 2. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Um, you know, I haven't played the classic Resident Evil 2 since the GameCube. So, um, because I had all of them on the GameCube when Nintendo made like an exclusive deal. And uh, and it really didn't, wasn't very exclusive for very long. Um, I will put all this in here. Actually, that's a faster loader, but... Boom. Okay, cool. So, we're good. Anything we can get in there? Nope. Okay. Alright. Uh, we'll just keep... We'll save in different spots and, you know, in case we ever have to backtrack. Sweet. This game looks so good though, right? Alright, so now I'm not worried about him. So these shutters, this is where they said like some people got away. Oh, is my oh my knife broke! Holy crap! I was gonna chop them up into little pieces just now, uh, but uh, that's not gonna work. So this, I think I pointed this out in the demo, but that hole there, apparently one of the developers said that Nemesis created that hole, which is uh, pretty neat, because that, to me, if that's true, that to me tells me that there's, um... well, I wonder if these are the same passwords. Nope, doesn't look like it. Is it FAP? No. I guess it doesn't have to really spell anything, huh? Hey! I just saw that. I was like, oh, that looks like it could spell cap. Flame rounds. Whoa! Cool. I was like, yeah, I'll try cap. That's awesome. More flame rounds. Even better. What's this? Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. What? Portable safe instructions? The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out. You will need to restart the sequence. Whoa. Cool. Ah. I'm confused. You can examine an item from different angles by selecting it and using examine. do that wrong once. Um, ah, dang, so close. Cool, we're figuring this one out. Wait, what did I 
did you wrong? Oh, that one's that one? Okay. Oh, dang. Let's just do the first way. Nope. <laughs> My memory is for shit. Okay. Is that not so confused? Okay. What does that do? Uh, right now, I am playing it with the classic music. Nice. Spare part. Hey, that's the, the button. Nice. All right. We. Oh, wow, okay. We can go... Um, we should go do that. But before we do that, we should activate this. Oh, no! I don't know if he'll get up or not, but I ain't going to tempt it right now. Um... We actually have a button. We can go open a few more of those things down there. See? Okay. Whew. The glass broke, but he didn't get in. Yeah, check this out. Should probably put in the two spot. No, nothing in. So we got two o two, two o eight, two o two, two o eight, and one o two. What? So we need 103. And what is this? Is this 203? It is 203. Dang it. Well, I guess no matter what, I couldn't have couldn't have got that. I was like, oh, another fanny pack, but we'll have to get that later. I can't believe I broke my first knife, man. There's a lot of stuff we don't need right now, so we'll store that. Gunpowder, store that. Cool, good. Stop banging on the wood, yo. Okay, second floor done. Man, I'm loving the handgun bullets. It kind of makes sense because it's like, hey, we're in a, a police station, so. So it's not cap this time. It's not fap this time. Fan, fam, fall, fack. Feck. Mm -hmm. I'm just determined to just mess around for a little bit. <laughs>
I don't think we're going to accidentally guess this one. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not a word. Like, cap was... It's like, alright, we can spell cap, but... that later as riveting as that is for you guys so this mannequin is pretty cool this is from Resident Evil 7 uh, when you played the like in the house where you fought like uh, Jessica what was his girlfriend's name Ethan's Winter's name I can't remember his, uh, his girlfriend's name I can't remember her name um, but uh, it was like when you first found her Ooh, same with this. This uh, plant here is in the Baker house. Mia, I'm so stupid. Thank you, Gamer Squad. Um, it's it's a little late. <laughs> I've, I've, my mind is on in 1998 right now. You know, with uh, Claire and Leon. So my uh, my Resident Evil Seven knowledge just went right out the window. Thank you for that. I think even that is in the Baker house. I think. Can't remember. It's funny I would remember that, but not freaking Mia's name. So David here figured out how to get around liquors from battling one or two of them. Apparently, if you don't make any noise, you can sneak around them. Uh, and I'm sure I'm going to be awful at being quiet, so chances are we're going to be fighting all the liquors in this game. Okay. Cool. So this is a little different. In the demo, I think there was a different thing there. Hmm. This grandfather clock, this is the same from the Baker home as well, where you, like a dog crest comes out of it, I think. The liquors ate my bullets. Ate all my bullets. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're tough as balls, man. I'm not looking forward to fighting one of those. Alright, so we don't have anything to detonate that. We played that in the demo. We tried to shoot that and it didn't work, so. Some guy's scribbling. Damn those corporate a holes. They cut me off after all I'd done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun on my own as the world goes to crap. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a still pen and set some C4. All I got to do is detonate it and say, Cyanara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Wait, what? Those filthy pigs up in a steel. But it's no fun. I think I read this on the demo, and I, I don't remember it being this twisted. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guys next to you, and I'll spare the others. Whoa, what? You yell about justice and pride? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. So that's why all these cop bodies are in here? Someone locked them in? How do you get all the cops in here? So there's a psychopath like running around here too? We need that statue, man. All right. Good God. I blew his head off. Sure did. Blair, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why was that? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. All right, we gotta go see Marvin. So after we get back to Marvin, that is basically where the demo ended. I'm gonna probably stop this stream. And then we'll come right back. So I'm just I'm gonna be gone for like 30 seconds. But this just makes it easier for me to edit if I just stop every like hour to hour and a half. Bastard. 
Oh crap, is that one getting up? What is happening? Legs jiggle. Hell is up with you. Seriously. Using a lot of bullets here. Easier if I had a knife. Wow, this guy. Here we go. There's a screw this guy's video I came across once when I was just looking for people playing through the, the one shot demo. I think he called it like the 300 IQ test. <laughs> and it was basically like him tricking zombies into doing stuff um, to see if they like were smart enough to figure their way out of it. And it was pretty good. It was actually a really fun video. Hey, the red book. That goes in that statue. Is that a knife? Oh, I got a knife. Okay, locked. Map. Speaking of maps, let's go to files. There we go. So this is the unicorn. It has like a pig, scorpion, and something, something. Or it's fish. Fish, scorpion. And whatever that was. Dope. What? Nice. Nice. Got him. Any bullets down here? Oh, what up, bullets? Dang. I never thought I would ever see this, uh, this whole, this, you know, this whole police department reimagined like this. It's so good. Like, this game looks so good. And, uh, I, I mean, I wanted it since the Resident Evil 1 remake. As soon as I found out they were remaking Resident Evil 1, I was like, please, please, you know, make Resi remake Resident Evil 2. Uh, it was worth the wait. I'm telling you, look how good this game looks. All right, let's check out this cutscene. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh, my God, he made it. Know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think. Oh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. Second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?